Hi everybody, I wanted to share this with you. This is my third sled that I'm making. I made a video about a week ago at 2 o'clock in the morning and I wasn't just making any sense, so I've never put it on. Um, I have some people asking me, oh, I'm making stuff one on top of the next. I, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, um, this sled I use with a potpourri a cartridge from Cricut and I cut it out at 7 inches on heavy red cardstock from Brazil. And um, after that, I cut out another piece of cardstock to adhere to the back of it um, so that it would have some strength to it. And then in the background, I have a, um, a skeleton um, leaf. And I have some store-bought uh, poinsettias there and some store-bought leaves in there, some netting in the background in gold. That is um, a red bird. Uh, from the birdcage uh, alterations that I use with a rhinestone in the eye. And then here I have some random scattered fill-ins of these little tiny uh, roses. Um, and I also have some snowflakes that are cut out from a Sizzix um, die. And a bow. And um, this here is from my um, antique box of ribbons. It's a very old piece of rope. Um, I have some skills, uh, skittles, uh, stickles scattered around, some um, gold trim and red beads at the bottom with some little baby bells there, and some stickles on the edges of the sled to reflect snow, some pretty leaves that's cut off a very big piece, a very big bell there. I bought a box of those about a month and a half ago at Michael's. And um, just to share with you, I actually... I have this um, in the back here because I just took a photo of it. This is actually from my sister. And um, I'll just show you the back of how I had done that. Um, I put my kickstand there uh, in an L shape so that this thing has plenty of strength. Ooh, I just got some yucky stickles on me. And um, so, yeah, there you have it. A really, really pretty sled. I'll put paper behind it so that you can get a better idea. Let me just try that again. Yeah, this looks really pretty. Um, the one that I have is um, on a table in the hallway. Just as you come up the steps, there's a big mirror there and one of those half tables. And I have mine on there. This just came out so really pretty. Um, I hope you try one out for yourself. It's really nice. You can even tie a rope to the back of it or some thick ribbon and hang it on a door. And I just would like to show you, without making you dizzy, another one that I made for a friend of mine. Um, that's hers, and hers got the same idea with the red bird and the gold um, leaf and some some trim here and some little bows, little leaves and flowers, and she got some other rope that I had here, and also Happy Holiday banner and some trim and a little acorn. Really very pretty. It's messy in the background, but I'm holding it until I see her so that I can give it to her before Christmas. So yeah, getting just getting back to the one that I had just completed. Um, there you have it, and um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you guys are having fun making some things for Christmas, because it is fun to make some home decor to show off some of your talents and to save some money. After all, these little flowers over here cost me 59 cents a flower, and they are quite substantial in size at Michael's about a month ago. These are, are about 15 of them on one stem, which was not even a dollar. So I had a pretty good time with some trim that I had and some paper, some marabou boa fur there to reflect uh, the snow. And um, try it yourself. It's quite fun. Have a great day.